All right, this is page three of sort Y20. We'll be going over the a, u. We will be going over the a, u, u, and u sounds. Make sure you write your name, the number, and the due date. So tomorrow, and it's due on the lines. Let's start with the first word. Say it aloud with me. Struck. 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 Struck is a word, a verb, an action word in the past. When we say it right now in the present, we say strike. And in case you don't know, strike means to hit something really fast, quickly. So strike means to hit. My example sentence is, when I go bowling, I like to strike down all of the pens. You might always also say, in a boxing match, the opponents strike each other. And you can draw a picture of them boxing. Pause it if you need to. If not, let it keep going. The next word is flu. There's that oo sound. Flu is another verb in the past. When we're talking about it in the present, we say, yesterday I flew in a plane, today I fly in a plane. Pause the video if you need to write more and also put your picture here. Make sure that you use the word flu and not the word fly. The word flu. Say the next word with me. Stew. Stew. I'm going to show you a picture of a stew. Here is an example of stew. You can see that there's big pieces of meat in it and lots of vegetables and a sauce. Kind of like soup, but it's a lot more thick. So, stew is what? I just said, it's kind of like a soup. So, it is soup. with large pieces of what are the what's this meat and vegetables there's lots of vegetables that has been cooked for a long time so stew usually cooks for quite a while stew is actually something miss tuxhorn really loves to eat and especially in the winter when she's really cold so on your sentence, you could say, Miss Tuxhorn loves to eat stew during the winter when she is cold. So then I could draw the picture of stew now that I know what it looks like and write my words three times. All right, here is the word blue. Everybody knows what blue is. It is the a color in the, I forgot the word the, a color in the rainbow between, so you can look at my beautiful rainbow that I made, and it always comes in this order, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, or purple. So blue is always between green and purple, or green and violet, if you're talking about colors of the rainbow. Now, I'm sure everybody can write a sentence about the word blue. So let's move on to this next word. If you are not ready, pause it. The next word is crew. It makes that oo sound also. So a crew, here's an example. My crew is my best friends and I. It is a group of people who... So a crew 
sometimes plays together. They sometimes work together. So I'm going to show you a picture. This right here is me. In college, I was in this boat with, a, with eight, uh, seven other girls who were rowing and then one girl here who was just sitting there yelling at us. We were called a crew because we worked together all the time. If we weren't all moving at the exact same way, we, our boat would not go forward very well. So, when you are writing your sentence, you can write about the crew of girls in this boat. You could also write about the crew of people who work at Wendy's, or the crew of people who work at McDonald's, or anywhere. Maybe your older sister works at and is on the crew at Wendy's. All right, then draw your picture here. Pause the video if you need to. This next word is blue. In the three little pigs, the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. So that means he was blowing. So blow is right now. Blue is in the past. Blow is now. Blue is in the past. Blow, this word, means moving. The air is moving. Moving air. So, perhaps I blew out my candles on my birthday. That could be a sentence. Or it could be the tire blew because we did not get a new one. It, the air came flying out of it. Pause the video if you need to. The next word is brush. Brush. An object used to do what? We use a brush to do what to our teeth? To clean them. I just want you to remember that in English, we do not say wash your teeth, okay? We say brush your teeth. All right, so a brush is used as an object. It's a thing used to clean or do hair, right? We use our brush to brush our hair out. Now, this brush was a noun. It's a person, place, or thing. Because it looks like this. People use it to brush their hair. But there is also another kind of brush. It's the action word. The action word of actually using this thing right here. It's the action of moving a brush. So when you're writing your sentence here, if you're talking about the thing, I want you to circle this part because you're talking about the brush, the actual object. If you're talking about the action, so like every morning I brush my hair, then you need to circle this one. Only one of them should be circled. All right. Now that you have your sentence written here and one of these two definitions circled and your picture drawn, pause it if you don't have that done. We're going to do our last word, clue. It has that ooh sound. So a clue is information to help solve a, what do we use clues for? We use them when we have a mystery. I hope you guessed that before I did. So write a sentence. Blue always leaves a clue for us to find. Okay. When I used to babysit, I always watched Blue's Clues, so that's what I think of. But it could be anything. Miss Tuxhorn had a surprise for us, and she left us a clue written on the board.
Ooh, great fifth grade sentence. Then draw a picture. Make sure every part of this page is done. All your words are written three times. All your pictures are done. All the definitions are exactly like I have them in this video. And all of your sentences are written with a capital letter and punctuation. Great job. That's all for page three.